We were talking about slopes of lines and equations of lines. And in this case, uh, we were talking about perpendicular lines and that they have opposite reciprocal slopes. Uh, so one other thing that we can think about is uh, two non-vertical lines are perpendicular if and only if the product of their slopes is negative one. So if we had one slope that was two, and remember if it's two, we understand that it's two over one. So the, or the uh, perpendicular would be opposite reciprocal. So this is positive. So opposite of positive is negative and reciprocal means flip. So one over two. If we multiply these two fractions together, two times one is, or two times negative one is negative two. And one times two is two. Negative two divided by two is equal to negative one. So these two slopes are perpendicular. You don't necessarily need to know that fact. You can look at the, the two slopes and decide if they're perpendicular just by looking at them as well. So here we have, find the slopes of the line that are perpendicular to each given line. So here we have y equals 5x plus 6. And we remember, we want to have it in y equals mx plus b, because that's the easiest to see it in. And we're looking for m, or the coefficient that is in front of the x variable. So here we have 5 and the slope of the line that is perpendicular. So perpendicular means Perpendicular means opposite and reciprocal. So opposite basically means we take the given slope and we are going to multiply it by negative one. And reciprocal means flip, flip the fraction. So we've identified the slope which in this case is five. And if there's, if it's not a fraction, we can write it as five. And then we can say it's over and understood one in the denominator. Uh, for this case, just to help us um, see it a little bit better. So this is understood, it's div divided by one. So opposite means we have to multiply this by negative one. So I'm gonna put that in parentheses and I'm gonna multiply it by negative one. So now that becomes negative five over one. And then the reciprocal part says I have to flip it. So I'm gonna take this and flip it. And now that becomes the one goes in the numerator and the five goes in the denominator and we're still gonna keep that sign. So then for this one, our slope was five, but the perpendicular slope is negative one over five. Next, we have another example, and this is in standard form, but we want to change it to y equals mx plus b. So the first thing we want to do is we want to solve to get y by itself. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. And then we get 7y is equal to negative 4x plus 21. And then I want to get rid of the 7 there. So I'm going to divide everything by 7. And in this case, we get y equals negative 4 over 7x. And then 21 divided by 7 is 3. So here we're looking for our slope, which is the coefficient in front of the x variable. So our, our current slope is m equals negative 4 over 7. But our perpendicular slope, we want to uh, do the opposite and reciprocal. So opposite, this is negative. So opposite means, let's make it positive. 
and reciprocal means we want to flip it. So 7 was in the denominator, now it's in the numerator. And so that is the slope that is perpendicular to the given equation or given linear equation.